Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. One of the major issues our country is facing these days is the issue of drug addiction. A drug is something that influences the body. It goes through the body and it interacts with the brain's neurotransmitters. So first of all, I'm going to talk about uh, some of the numbers which shows that uh, how severe this problem has become in the country. In the last few decades, drug addiction has increased exponentially in Pakistan. Pakistan has 8 million drug users and more than 5 million of these are drug addicts. 78% are male abusers and 22% are female abusers. Around 700 people die of a drug overdose every year. Drug addiction has become an epidemic in Pakistan. The number of these addicts is increasing at a rate of 40,000 per year, making Pakistan one of the most drug-affected countries in the world. Abuse of cannabis and heroin is rife in the country, and the drugs are extremely cheap and easy to get. The most addictive drug is heroin. When heroin is injected to the body, it converts into morphine and it gives the user a significant psychological and physical high. Most of the drugs come from Afghanistan, the country that is responsible for at least 75% of the world's heroin. It is also estimated that up to 44 tons of processed heroin is consumed annually in Pakistan. A further 110 tons of heroin and morphine from neighboring Afghanistan is trafficked through Pakistan to international markets. Pakistan's illegal drug trade is believed up to generate up to 2 billion US dollars a year. In Pakistan, more than 800,000 people between the age of 15 and 64 are addicted to the use of heroin on a regular basis. America is considered as a country where maximum volume of heroin is consumed, but estimates show that around 44 tons of heroin is consumed every year in Pakistan. This ratio is two to three times higher than the US. Drug abuse is rapidly growing in the region. While almost 5% of the adult population is addicted to some form of substance abuse, youngsters are the most affected by the drugs. Students, whether it be at school, colleges or universities, are getting addicted to substances at an alarming rate, threatening not only their own future but those of the people around them, including family and friends. Drugs are a very big problem in our country, but often they get eclipsed with other issues plaguing our society like poverty, illiteracy and lack of basic healthcare facilities. Despite great harm that drugs and substance abuse causes to the physical and mental health of youngsters, no concrete action has been taken by either the government or the educational institutions. The narrative against drug is that just a narrative, and no steps are seen on the ground to steer the youth away from this menace. Around 5 million people are drug addicts, but still treatment and expert intervention is very hard to find. Every year less than 30,000 drug addicts get access to treatment. As compared to men, Women are more averse to have gotten drug treatment. It is hard to access the proper treatment in a country where per day earning of a common person is less than 300 rupees. In Pakistan, 3.6% of the youngsters or 4 million people use cannabis, which is listed as the most commonly used drug in the country, while 1% of the drug users are addicted to opiate. As I've discussed the severity of this issue with some of the numbers, now I'm going to discuss the reasons why people fall into this trap and why drug addiction is becoming so popular in the country. Most youngsters start using drugs because they idolize the West and try to follow their culture of drugs and enjoyment of life, while some of them start using it out of curiosity and for the pleasure they get through the use. Many youngsters lean towards drug abuse because of misplaced coolness attached with using such a substance in the media and popular culture. Then there is also the pressure from friends who do drugs. Those who stick to the safety are often dubbed weak and uncool and many unknowingly fall into this trap to avoid daily ridiculing and for want of acceptance in groups. And of course, there are other myths like, it helps me focus, it, ha it gets my mood up and so on. The depression and disappointment are sometimes the reason for drug addiction among the youth. Mental issues, feeling of depression, absence of parental association, work stress, anxiety, marital problems, monetary challenges, low cost and simple access to drug, they are all the reasons youngsters fall into this trap. Although the increase in the problem has been alarming, the government's response has been minimal at best. Few programs are active in the country to help drug addicts. Smuggling and availability of the drugs in the country has gone almost unchecked. Now we've seen the reasons why people are falling into this trap. And we've discussed with the numbers the severity of this problem. However, the hazard of drugs can be battled. Education is the primary fight. Everyone should be educated about the harm and effects of drugs so that they may know the consequences of its use and can avoid it. Government should also take strict steps against the drug dealers and should authorize the law by increasing the police labor. 
and make youngsters aware of the problem through brochures and through seminars. Rehabilitation centers should be made in huge numbers so that those people who fell in this trap can get out. Countermeasures should be deployed and drug dealers and pushers should strictly be dealt with. Besides the government, administrations of schools, colleges and universities also carry great responsibility to eradicate the menace of drugs. Besides the government, administrations of schools, colleges and universities also carry great responsibility to eradicate the menace of drugs. Students should undergo medical tests before admission and any user of drugs should be denied admission. Students should be thoroughly monitored on campuses to check if they are taking the drugs. These little measures may look little, but it can go a long way in saving hundreds of people from falling into the abyss of drug abuse. Thank you.